Throughout history, there have been many feuds. Biggie and Tupac, Kanye West and Taylor Swift. However, none of these feuds got as bitter and personal as the feud between Pierre Jean Pierre and Kitchen Blade. Two seemingly inseparable best friends, now at the brink of war. What could have possibly caused the rift between the two? Let us find out. Yeah, me and Pierre Jean Pierre used to be cool. I mean, it was all fun and games, but on occasions, he would cross the line. He liked to do this thing where he would spit right next to your shoe. She would piss me off every time, son. Every time. I don't know what he's talking about. Oh no! Allergies. I better clear my larynx. <laughs> Allergy season, son. Allergy season, son. This mock ass trick spit on my fucking sneakers, yo. <laughs> nah. Ah! Come on, man. I got more sense than that. I'm not gonna just spit on another man's sneakers all nearly willy. I don't do things just to do them. Yeah, I spit on these sneakers. <laughs> Come on, man. I got more sense than that. I'm not gonna just spit on another man's sneakers all nearly willy. I don't do things just to do them. Yeah, I spell these sneakers. A week passed, and on the surface, things seemed to have cooled down, and life went on. Kitchen Blade, defeated, disappeared from the neighborhood for a while. Meanwhile, Pierre Jean Pierre was continuing his career as a gymnast. All of my friends, they're afraid to play a real sport like gymnastics. They'd rather play pussy sports like football or basketball. Some people would feel threatened if they knew I was a gymnast, so I keep it a secret. I practice eight hours a day in the dark. Yeah, let's get it! It takes a lot of upper body to train to do gymnastics. And it's obvious <laughs> that I have it. As a result, I've won many medals. Yeah, I know this motherfucker like to go jogging around this time. Yeah. He's right there, see him? <laughs> now we wait. Now we wait. Oh, okay. This is what we this is what we got here. Okay, let me give me some change. Give me a bogey. Mm -hmm. mm. Dope. Your rhymes is whack, bro. Oh. Bling, bling. Every time I ran a new car, bling, bling. Listen to that. Listen to that. What ensued next would escalate the beef between Pierre Jean Pierre and Kitchen Blade to new heights. It didn't take long for Pierre to realize his medals were gone. The situation escalated quickly. Eventually, the violence would spill onto the neighborhood streets. Unfortunately, because of the violent nature of this feud and overall lack of funds, they were unable to afford professional help. Luckily, out of nowhere, the friendship expert volunteered her services pro bono. You call yourself a rapper? You call yourself a rapper? I got bored, son. You ain't got nothing. Hold up. Take a picture. Take a picture. Take a picture. Take a picture. Hold up. Take a picture. All right. Like that? Yeah. Another one? Another one? Picture of a bitch. Picture of a bitch. You go on Instagram, they go put your meme on you. You are out. Like my Instagram pictures. You are out. You are out. Wow. Hi guys, my name is Ling Ho, and welcome to New Castle Friendship and Hugs. Yay! What the fuck is this? Yay, let's start off by introducing ourselves. I'm Kitchen Blade. I don't play no games. My name is Jean-Pierre Jean. Je respire l'odeur de ton corps. 
you doing that Jean Pierre Jean again? Who's Jean Pierre Jean, you ask? It's my sexy alter ego that gets all the pussy. Oh my god, French guys are so hot. What are your qualifications? Um, I have a PhD. Yeah, me too, bitch. Oh, I know where you got these from. Chinatown, you sneaky bitch. Sit down, Kildare. We have to get started. Je voudrais commencer sur vous, ma jolie. Oh my God, I just love Pierre Jean Pierre. Everything he says is so charming. Je te pas le préservatif. Y'all don't see me over here? Huh? Y'all don't see me over here? I'm a motherfucking kitchen blade. I'm out of fucking game, alright? You better cut that shit out, and you better cut that shit out. I'm getting tired of your shit. Real tired of your, your shit. Real tired of your shit. Cut that shit out. Listen, butter knife. I need you to calm down, alright? We're here to solve your anger issues. You remind me of a porn star right before she takes her fucking clothes off. This is no time for flattery, Mr. Kitchen Appliance. It's time for this fuckboy to buy me a new pair of sneakers. Oh, he wants his sneakers. I don't want my medals. Oh my god, he really grinds my fucking gears, man. Fuck out of here, you stink. Fuck out of here, nigga. Remember that shit. Nigga, thugs like nigga. I'll stay here. He will spill nothing. The argument went on for hours. Pierre slept with Ling Ho, but the conflict remained unresolved. The two would continue to see each other on and off. Two months later, Kitchen Blade also slept with Ling Ho. No longer bitter, Kitchen Blade gave Pierre back his medals and forgave him for spitting on his shoes. They remained friends until Pierre found out that Kitchen Blade was also sleeping with Ling Ho. They fought only to end up at the castle of friendship and hugs once again.